Whistleblowers are genuinely in danger, as most of us know. However, now the danger's expanded to even safety whistleblowers? A recent Boeing employee has been unalived for whistleblowing on just that, days after saying it will not be, as YouTube approves, a self-unalivement, if you get our gist. Welcome to Soul Spy University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand. Today's show is sure to blow your mind and open your world right up, but first, um, it would help our content to you tremendously if you could please just click that like button, um, subscribe to be a part of our family so you don't miss out on the news that they're not telling you, and share to help our channel survive. Just a reminder, there is a donation link in the description box. Any little bit helps me to know that someone somewhere is listening. If anyone is called to the list of services in the description box that I provide, be sure to Instagram message me. I will be way more likely to see that than an email. Um, so look at the Instagram of Soul Space Spa Space University. Thank you. Okay, Tommy, investigative reporter on the scene. Wow, what a tragic story. Um, I think everyone knows uh, that he did not do this himself. In fact, I have a piece of information on that if you don't, but go ahead, what happened? So John Barnett, 62 year old man, worked for Boeing for 32 years, retired in uh, 2017. He was a quality control manager for Boeing. He told the company a couple of times that, hey, listen, the quality of work is not is not great. You got you overwork these guys. Um, you know, your your deadlines are unreasonable. And he's worried about the 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 product going out because the safety of it is just, it's just, it's, there's too much to lose. And they're like, shut, shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like he would talk about how there were times where they, they put like, they, they put like um material that is mis uh, dysfunctioned or whatever not functioning properly or anything. They put it in like a thing uh, to, you know, throw away, but they lost um, track of it and think that a lot of it got put back into use. Oh my God. Yeah. So anyway, on March 9th, now let's, let's, uh, let me backtrack actually. This man after retiring, um, started talking about this and about the issues that Boeing has. And he was in a long running lawsuit with them because after he, you know, talked about this for the first time and, and all that stuff, they started de de yeah, denigrating his name and hampering his ability to get another job, basically saying this guy is not. You know, yeah, there's, there's a bunch wrong with them. Anyway, they, 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 of course, deny it. And so he was in a huge legal battle with them. And not only that, he was also, you know, talking a lot about how their product is just dangerous and needs to be regulated further. So on March 9th, he was in Charleston, South Carolina. Mm. And he was there for... um um, where, 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 blah, blah, blah. One second, guys. Sorry. Oh, he was in there. He was there for a bunch of interviews, legal interviews. And that's when they were waiting for him for one of the interviews and they couldn't find him. And so they had people go to his hotel room, couldn't find him there. They found him in the hotel parking lot in his car. And he apparently had uh, unalived himself, as they like to say on this thing. Mm -hmm. in the car mm -hmm. so this sparked a lot of 
interest and controversy. His whole entire family's like, this man loved life, loved being alive. Yeah. You know, like he would never mm -hmm. ever do this. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, I even saw an article where he literally said, it's not going to be, and he says the S word, we're not allowed to stay on YouTube, guys. Um, but yeah, he really announced prior, um, just like many whistleblowers mentioned, that it's that it's not, they're never going to, they have no thought, they have no uh, desire to do such a thing. And then out of nowhere, you know. Oh, what a mopey day. <laughs> It's like I mean, what? that's crazy. Um, again, another one that was just doing his job. You know, David Grush was just doing his job when he reported on the alien things. That was his job was to report on that exact thing. This man's actual job was to report on it. And he actually, from what you're saying, was so dedicated that even after he wasn't even working there anymore, went above and beyond to say something. I mean, there was a lot going on with Boeing in terms of, you know, wings flying off, doors flying off of, of mm -hmm. flights over Alaska and all sorts of things, although that could be Alaska at this point. But, you know, I mean, there, it's no stranger that Boeing wasn't doing well anyway. Um, I actually read in the comments to these articles that some guy, was, I don't know if he was living in Charleston or vacationing at the time or had a vacation house, but he was at a bar and all these Boeing employees were just in there, just getting so drunk before work, doing all sorts of other substances, if you know what I mean, joking around. And I remember he thought, wow, they really don't have tight regulations on the jobs here. <laughs> and those yeah. men were going to go work on aircraft. Yeah. Um, so well, like you just mentioned before, in early January of this year, there was a blowout in a, a flight over Portland in, uh, that was leaving flight. Yeah. Portland International Airport. Uh, the door burst out while in flight. And there's 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 footage of it while it, like as it happened and all that stuff. Wow. And it was a Boeing plane. And of course, they inspected and to find out what it was. And it was missing a critical bolt that is supposed to be in the door to keep it safe. So that's, that's yeah. insane. Imagine that, you're just chilling and all of a sudden it's like, oh, dead. Flying out this door now. Wait, but everyone survived, right? I believe, yes, because they were had their seatbelts on. Um, yeah. Otherwise you just get sucked right out. Wow. Um. That's why they say it always have that. And that just flew out out of nowhere. Imagine someone was getting up to use the bathroom. Yeah, they'd be gone. That's it. So or, yeah, there was another, another one, a 787 in Sydney. While on flight, immediately, like just for no reason, the whole plane just dropped. Oh, and yeah. a lot of people got injured. There was like, they were flying up to the ceiling and the ceiling and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden it just got power back on. And then it was like, oh, and they were like, oh, we don't know what happened. They don't. So uh, Boeing has obviously got a ton of scrutiny for this. Their stock has hit, got hit hard. Um, and they, the FDA, FAA um, did a bunch of audits on Boeing to find out, like, you know, they, they, they it's, from what I, I gather, they basically look into every little aspect of the, the process of building a plane and, you know, you have to pass this and that and all this stuff. Anyway, out of 89 audits, they failed 33. <laughs> mm. So that it, it was like these things are meant to be in the safe. The safest thing is in the, in the sky. You're supposed to be perfectly safe, all this stuff. Um, there are some people that talked about I think it was actually John Barnett. Uh, it may have been the other guy I'm going to tell you in a second. Um, they sh they said that they saw people testing the seal on the door with just a credit card to see how tight it was. Or putting like uh, soap 
up on it to see if there was any bubbles or anything. Like that's your critical test to make sure the door doesn't go flying off and killing everybody. Well, I don't on? know. I don't know how that works, you know? Yeah, but there's got, I mean, the the insane technology used to create these things, there's got to be something better than that. For sure. I just didn't know if that would be pretty interesting. So, um, yeah, this man, like I said, he worked for them for 32 years and like he was a safety guy. Like his whole thing was safety and wow. or quality control, same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's really messed up. But he's not the only whistleblower. There's another man named Ed Pearson. Wow. Uh, Ed Pearson was a former um, senior manager. And uh, he was a Boeing fact. He was in the factory in uh, Washington. And he had the same issue. He's like, these people are way over. He talked about it a lot. These people are way overworked. Um, you know, they, they're working with like basically scraps to put these planes together. Wow. And there's just, it's just super dangerous. Uh, he's still walking amongst us. So that's good. Hmm. Well, I know the guy that um, is no longer alive is taking legal action, like you mentioned. Yeah. And just when he was about to like do his official test of buying, I think is when I think on the way there, um, it happened or something weird um, where his own lawyer is like, yeah, this is obviously not his doing. Yeah, it was. That's that's what he was doing in Charleston. He was doing the interviews for that. Mm -hmm. Those were his. Yeah, it's 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 insane. I mean. Granted, we could be completely wrong and maybe, you know. Oh, please. Um, you and I have yeah. covered enough whistleblowers of aliens that I know, know. but you got to put that out there because. Right. But like, OK, I see what you're saying regarding certain things in this topic, but mm -hmm. it's just crazy, though, because we've 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 covered enough uh, things with the aliens. That yeah, with Boeing being a part of that, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that even if one didn't believe in aliens, the uh, the self unaliving um, was pretty interesting because there's a trend going on there where they were very much like, um, I'm not going to do that and don't think I will. And they were really, really honest about it. And then all of a sudden they did, you yeah. know, um, yeah. but it's like now it's this man wasn't even reporting on aliens. Like this is just a safety thing. Well, it's money. Money is that's their number. That's the number one thing is all that money. I mean, look at them now. Their their stock is hitting got hit hard because mm -hmm. it's like because Boeing planes are literally in every airport. Every airport, every airline has a Boeing plane. Wow. Mm. So wow, it's it's. I mean, it's not unreasonable. It's not. What am I saying? It's unreasonable, but it's not unheard of that companies like that would take drastic action against someone that's talking too much. And I but think this I, one was just too. It was just too obvious. And yeah, it's like God, they're getting messy and with things that don't matter that much. But it's. I guess you're right. I guess it's like follow the money. But also it's like, I I think I heard they're like the, the top notch of, you know, of airplane makers or something, right? So um, it's like who, if no one's above them, um, people don't really have a big choice in terms exactly. of like, yeah. Plus it's a gigantic company. Who's going to, who would point the finger at who? Like what, who would say, it's like, oh yeah, it's your fault. That guy's gone. Like they got scot it's it's literally no one's gonna like they're scot free they're scot free all their airports all the airports have have their planes yeah so the military has their planes huh even the military has their planes oh there you go well that explains a lot um huh actually not just our military there are other militaries in the world that mm -hmm. have their planes. 
China just bought like a ton of Boeing planes. Yeah, and guys, if you look further, this is also reason for alien cover up is actually follow the money. It has to do with um, the technology, you know, yeah. um, that they're hiding. Because if if the great technology comes out, then a lot of oil companies and stuff will lose their money, and because that's all worldwide and all that, it's just crazy. I guess it always comes down to follow the money. Yeah, it's just that's just the way it is. Greed rules the world, unfortunately. Um, hope not. <laughs> hope I not. Hope not. I'd like to think otherwise, but I, I like, I, I just, you know, maybe people just want money, Tommy. You don't have to think that way. And that notion drives me crazy, but okay. All right. Well, money itself, like power, I guess, too. You know, I'm trying to teach people to manifest. Now they can't manifest an extra can of soup because they think they're greedy. No, 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 no. I'm saying obscene amounts of people like, you know, like literally, I mean, think about this. If you have a billion dollars, what in your head's like, I need a trillion? Like, literally, you could do whatever you want with a billion. I would think so, right? You could do pretty much whatever you want with a billion. Oh, uh, hang on a second. All right, guys. <laughs> Had to do something. Muffin. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, um, anybody is down about this topic, we have some positive reinforcements. Muffin in her Easter outfit. This is her lamb shirt. <laughs> Say hi, Muffin. <laughs> so depressed. Why is she just looking over in the corner? <laughs> what? Why is she just looking away at the kid from the camera? Muffin? Oh, you sad dog. Pick no. her up a little bit and show the camera the, the, the shirt. I'm gonna um Oh, I'm going to put you down so they could see it, okay? I'm going to put you down. Look at that little smile, Tommy. I know. <laughs> She's staring at you like a Wallace or a Gromit. Tommy. 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 All right, put the dog down. We got to talk about murder. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Muffin, 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 look, look at her outfit. It's cuter when you could see her sleeves. Hmm. You good? I love you. I love you. Okay, go ahead, Tommy. Ugh, I wish she got alive herself. <laughs> oh, look, guys, she has lambs on her shirt. Anyway, so back to this. So this guy... Yeah, no, man. Like it's it's there. It, like I said, I I wouldn't. I I don't see how he could have like irreparably affected their company. Like he could have. Of course, he could have hurt their company, and in the end, he did. But it's just a drastic thing to do, man. Drastic. Oh. Really? I mean, they just went too far. And it was so obvious. But like I said, who's going to stop? Who's going to say anything? Who's going like you could you could speculate and all that stuff. And all they got to do is say, no, we didn't. Or, and there's nothing they can do. It, it definitely backfired, too, because all this publicity about what happened. Just points more attention towards. Them doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like it's like one of those things that was like, okay, yeah, we'll get, a, we'll take a little bit of a hit now, but in the end, people still need those planes. People still need those jobs. Yeah, like we have contracts with all these different places all over the world. So I mean, it's like, but they could have just even in court, it's like, all right, they would have taken a little hit. They would have gotten better regulations and and whatever whatever but they weren't gonna like not be there anymore yeah so that's yeah. that's why like that's why i said what i said earlier when i'm like you know you can't rule out the fact that maybe maybe he did do this for himself to himself or maybe like 
Oh, please, Tommy. Even the lawyers. I, believe me, I know. But it's one of those things that you can't rule out. You can never rule out. Um, unless one of those guys above him was like, you know what? Enough. Call yeah. Rodrigo. He's got something to take care of. I definitely feel like I can rule it out. But out of respect for you, I won't. Listen. I obviously believe that he did that he did not do that himself. Yeah, because uh, it's like, oh, let me go ahead and take a trip down to Charleston uh, to go meet with a bunch of lawyers and everything. Oh, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this here. <laughs> it's like what? In the in the parking lot of his car. You ever see Casino? Where they're just like going out to the parking lot. It's like oh, it's like uh, I just. And I guarantee you the video footage of that parking lot's gone. Or there wasn't a camera that day for some reason. Yeah, because a plane it... took it out. <laughs> there was a plane <laughs> crash that took out that camera. Yeah, or the people that uh set up the cameras also worked for Boeing and they um were drinking that day too. So the plane behind you, that must have been made by Boeing, because that looks like there's a little cut in it. In fact, the big cut. Is there? I can't see it with that well on my little screen. Yeah, if um, you move um, towards that way, if you move that, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's, like, yeah. No, that's just a light. That's a light beam. I'm looking at it better. Yeah, it's it's a light beam. Looks like lightning strike. Uh, oh, that's what I was Are you trying to cover up for them? That's nice. Go ahead. <laughs> you know. Uh, so I forgot to add a bunch of anonymous uh, employees that worked with John all believe the same thing. They're like, there's, this is like, we, it is no, there's no way he did this. Absolutely no way. Yeah. And then also the fact is they're like, at, at, when we're at work, we can't, we can't even talk about it because we're recorded. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, it's like not only are we, you know, visually, but they they record our verbally too. And uh, we talk about it after work and everything, and all of us believe that they had they were involved. It's crazy. Wait, verbally and what? You know, instead of just a very little video camera, they're also recording their their voices, what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. Which is not normal. Like New York but has a law. Text each other. I doubt they even text each other. No, but uh, could they if they wanted to? Say it again, I'm sorry. Like, could they if they wanted to, or would that be tracked too? Who knows? Who knows? Boeing's a big company. Like, like it, it might as well be its own government. Um... Here's what I was gonna say. New York has a law saying that you cannot uh, record. You can you can you can record a, a, a employee, and you know, but you can't record them verbally unless they sign a contract. So I'm assuming, actually, now that I think about it, that in Charleston, you you have to you have to sign a contract during the thing saying, you know, you're going to be recorded, yes. And that's that's safe. But the the your audio is also going to be recorded. Sign here unless you don't, or you won't get a job. So I guess that, uh, now that I think about it, I don't know why I brought that up. But they say that they talk about it after work. They go to bars, like you said, a lot. Well, they'll also, um like, They'll probably break rules there. They're obviously breaking rules to put the plans together and all sorts of things we've heard prior. But they're not doing it on a, like they're not doing it on their on, on their own. Like they're being told, we need this done now. This no, is I your know. time. I know. Yeah. And and then they're like, you know, we don't care. Just get it done. No, I know. I meant in terms of trying to be legal with the recording, but yeah. I mean, obviously, oh. killing someone wasn't right. You know what I mean? So, but 
It's crazy, man. This whole story is nuts. And how do they know right. they're being recorded? There's cameras everywhere. You can see cameras. Yeah, but how do they know they're, you know what I'm talking about? Well, that's because, like I said, uh, they probably signed the contract. In, they signed the waiver saying, listen, this is part of your job. Remember like when they got fired, uh, hired 60, 56 years ago and signed that? Isn't there something that made them feel like they were being recorded? Like I believe one of them who was like, like I said, these people all were like, we're not saying our names. We all work for that company. We're not saying our names. Because, you know, these people need their jobs and all that stuff mm -hmm. too. And uh, one of them is like, oh yeah, no, I know for a fact because of a certain reason that's part of the day-to-day -day. we are being recorded not only video but audio okay wow that's just nuts all right well guys leave your opinions in the comments um you want to end up uh say anything more about this tommy it's just out uh, it's crazy i don't I feel bad because I don't know what's going to happen if they're if they could even take legal action if there's anything. But the coroner said it was self-inflicted, so I feel bad for the family. Oh yeah, may you know may he rest in peace. And this is just ah uh, yeah. Um, so happy Easter, everybody. Um, oh, yeah. to, to leave you on a great note, uh, happy Easter, you know, Christ is risen. So, so will he, so will he. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, our hearts go out to his family and he's already up there. So this is just it's so weird. If, if yeah, Christ has risen, but then John Barnett comes out, <laughs> it's like, what the, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. All right. Check out our other videos, guys. We have many videos on the Alaska Triangle where over 20,000 people have gone missing, including senators. Um, and many, many playlists to look at. So make sure to check out all our playlists. Like to support our content to you. Subscribe to be a part of our family and not miss out on the news that they're not telling you. And share to help our channel survive. Donation link in the description box in case anyone anywhere is listening. It would be absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, guys, may you be in peace. And I love you. I can't wait to see you again. And make sure to make room for miracles. Bye, guys.